Super intelligence could result in AI going from zero to smarter than Terence Tao at mathematics human beings wouldn't be able to tell until it was done. In today's video, I'm going to answer this question and I'm going to talk about something called recursive self-improvement. Now, while this entire paper is a speculative model, I need you guys to understand that the CEOs of Google DeepMind, Anthropic, OpenAI, all of these industry leaders, they are saying that within the next two to five years, we could see the rise of AGI. By 2027, AI systems, basically superhuman coders as they're named, will become better than human beings at every single coding and reasoning task and they can start automating their own R&D. Yes, you heard me right. AI is going to become the researcher in question. It is going to be the researcher for itself. These AI systems can create subsequent generations of themselves that are better and faster and smarter and more efficient every single time. AI, once it becomes better, it can also become better at creating new versions of itself. And you can see how this will not make a linear kind of progression. It will be non-linear. It will be so powerful and it will be beyond human comprehension and control. Another thing that I feel like people don't understand is crack scaling laws, which basically means there's a mathematical relationship between the compute, the power, the data, and the intelligence. It's not slow incremental guesswork, which is how research usually works. Instead, it's simply a mathematical relationship, a matter of engineering and mathematics of calculating how much power you're going to put into that AI system to make it cumulatively better. Okay, so among all of this, what is my opinion on this? My opinion is that they are not understanding the economics behind AI. They are understanding the scientific and research aspect of it, but I think considering the fact that all of these AI companies are in debt and they're not making any measurable profit currently, all of them are just inflating their prices and there's this whole bubble going on when it comes to AI. If you don't know what that is, just wait. Uh, I'll make a video on that soon. I do believe that AI is going to completely revolutionize every single industry but what I do not believe is that super intelligence is just going to come out of nowhere and there's not going to be any kind of hiccups along the way I don't think it's going to be that smooth obviously it's going to be smoother than expected smoother than anything ever before but I don't think it's going to be by 2027 I think within five years we could see the rise of AGI but I don't think it's going to happen before that used for more political causes instead of just for the general public because they're gonna have to find a way to monetize this sometime soon. There's just way too much money being spent on AI that isn't giving any measurable return back. There's also not enough sustainable solutions happening quick enough. When we look at power and compute and the water usage, then we need to understand that if you create sustainable versions of these data centers, you can just make them a lot better. So you know how we talked about those crack scaling laws. When you take the crack scaling laws and you apply them in a useful way, in a sustainable way, then you can allow yourself to really just keep on making AI better and better. So I feel like they're very, very limited.